Hi guys, welcome back to Makeup Skin. Today I am reviewing for you the NARS Afterglow Eyeshadow Palette. This is an amazing spring summer 2020 palette, so let's get started. Just look at that, that shine on top. The packaging is to die for. The 12 shades that come in this palette already, I know I'm loving that pink. The 12 shades can be used for bridal, Asian bridal, every day. You've got some nice nudes and browns there. I'm going to start this look off with the pale pink shade, which is called Mad Love. Now, by spending time on your crease, it'll make for a much more blended look. So I do take some time and make sure that both sides are blended beautifully. Now, taking deep cut, the pink shade... I'm using my fingers to test this product, see how it applies. I have no extra product on, and then I'm using a brush to blend it out. By using a brush and your fingers, you're getting a range of textures and a range of finishes. Again, I'm gonna take the pink shade and just blend out the crease. A great friend told me, as above, so below, you do need to balance the look and create a beautiful, beautiful blast. Now I have a dupe for MAC Teddy, it's from the range Essence. I find that a brown pencil for a Valentine's Day or romantic look is a lot more gentle and soft. Black is fine, I have another look coming up that I'm going to do in Punjabi and that's my mother tongue. I'm just going to blend the top as well and it just creates a softer look. It's like a 3D effect and a lived in look rather than very, very formal makeup. Can you see already there's definition coming through and everything's just looking almost finished and I'm going to blend the two together and it just creates a beautiful effect with the black mascara that I'm going to use next. Now the mascara that I'm going to use is one of my new favourites. I am going to stop before my mascara and do bronzing. I like to stop doing my eyes and add some balance and definition. And I also like to use my bronzer in my crease for that balance. Now using a Yachio brush, I'm mapping out the contours of my cheeks and you can see already there's definition emerging from there. Just repeat on the same side and I'm trying not to make a face so it doesn't alter how I'm wearing bronzer. So by just blending at the temples underneath, you get a very light contour. Now this Maybelline Nude Concealer, I'm putting just in the corners and down the center of my nose. And then I'm popping my favorite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger to enhance that. And I'm just going to leave it whilst I'm trying to find what to blend with. And I'm gonna put some, I've put Lip Max from Dior on. Now I've blended out my concealer and I'm using my favourite mascara. This does not clump, this curls your lashes, thick full lashes without any kind of clumping. Now I like to really wiggle that in and repeat on both sides. Now I'm going to take this shade, it's a beautiful gold metallic iridescent shimmery shade and I'm going to pop that in the corners of my eye to create a playful effect with the light and with the colour. Now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk and I'm going to show you three looks. Now the first look is the ultimate nude look with this pink and then I'm going to add MAC Whirl to give like a bit of a 90s nod. I love my 90s nod. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a lighter nude shade and this is from the brand called MUA. It's heroic and it's a lip crayon. 
look at it it is divine it will suit almost any skin tone i like to this is actually one of my favorite looks the highlight is just popping so now i'm using a pink lip crayon from MUA I will link the color down below that becomes more monochromatic pink on pink so it's not bad it's just an option for you whatever you prefer for Valentine's Day I have added lashes as well now my favorite out of the two lip colors was the third which is the nude I think it's just more balanced for me and it's the look I was going for I shall be wearing this on Valentine's Day because my birthday is the 13th and then Valentine's Day the next day. So yes, the heroic shade from MUA. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm just adding some bronzer to bring that balance back where I need it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I shall be doing more videos and more reviews and I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial for Valentine's Day. Thanks, guys.